This is Wilson. Johnny, remember me? It's a lovely day in the park, isn't it? How are you? Yeah, no, that's, uh, how are you doing? Don't mind me, I've just had some sardines. So, yeah, sardines here, I love sardines. Don't you like sardines, Johnny? I do. You like sardines, you get the no-name brand ones, you know? No, but they're just as good as the other ones, don't they? Oh, so you haven't been back to the sleepy old town for a little while? Yeah, it's funny I've seen you here. I'm, I'm only back just visiting the family. Remember the McKnights, Matthew, Matthew McKnight, that used to live down the street? Remember Matthew McKnight? Oh, yeah, I remember him. Matthew McKnight. Yeah, I went to primary school with him. Well, he's dead! Got hit by a road train. He went under every single wheel. He's paraplegic. Terrible, terrible tragedy it was because he couldn't feel anything from his neck down anymore. He could his and then he got put into a bed, he was in a coma for six months. Their parents finally decided to take him out of the hospital because he was always inside, always inside he was. Uh, and then when he did get finally out, his parents took him to the park. The park of all place. <laughs> and then they took him to the park. And I don't know, I understand why they took him to the park. He was lying there on his own. The parents, they didn't even know what was going on. They were too busy eating their sandwiches. His body completely devoured by fire ants and he couldn't scream because he was paralysed. Oh my God. He was paralysed down, to the neck down. Now he's dead. At least he couldn't feel anything though. That's what I said to them at the funeral. I said, well, he wouldn't have felt anything. The parents, they're ruined now. Their life is finished. They're all, they've divorced, moved on. The daughter's a whore, it's a hooker, from what I heard. It's destroyed their family. I mean, my friend said she was easy, but prostitute? Filthy whore! what she is. Oh, thank you for noticing my lovely floral dress, Johnny. But anyway, this was Hazel's dress. It's yeah, lovely. To, well, she's dead. So I had to take this off her cold, dead body. Anyway, I should get going. You should probably get to that mold checked out as well. I've noticed you've got a mole there. It looks like a melanoma. Could be cancerous and you'll be dead. I mean, you don't want to die, do you? Okay then, Johnny. Goodbye. See you around. Bye, Johnny.